Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Once you subscribe, hit that notification bell. Join the Clockwork crew so you'll be notified every single time that I upload, which is every single Monday, like Clockwork. Now, in today's video, as you can see, I'm going to show you how I create this sunset eye look that I originally showed on my IG live for my IG q and A. I'm um, just to celebrate my one year anniversary of being on YouTube and Instagram. So if you missed that, you can always go ahead, check out my Instagram. It is saved there on my IGTV. If you want to see what questions I would ask, you want to see the vibe, you want to see just me being me um, a little bit more, you can go ahead and check that out. But if you're ready to get right into this look, make sure you keep on watching. It's already primed with my Tarte Shape Tape and Tan Sand. Brows done. Go check out my brow tutorial. After this year, I'm not saying it again. And y'all on your own with your brows, and that's gonna be that. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and recreate my look that I had on my IG Live, as you see in the title and my intro. I told y'all. So the first thing I'm gonna use is my Ace Beauty Scarlet Dust Palette. <laughs> I actually got this in my Boxy Charm. I don't remember which month it was, um, but I liked it. I also use it for my fine wine eye look, which I love okay perfect for fall perfect for every goddamn day it's so pretty um so make sure you go ahead and check that out also i'm just gonna go with my large fluffy blending brush i'm gonna go into the shade called crimson right here and this is gonna be my transition and it's pretty pigmented so yeah it is pigmented this is actually a really nice palette i don't know how much it retails for but i did end up using every single shadow in this palette so i'm just gonna go ahead and pop some my transition i am still um a little congested i don't know what happened i filmed the other day and literally right after i sneezed twice and boom that was it i couldn't breathe after that and i just was like why but it's just congestion guys i'm not sick i don't have a fever or anything nothing and the look it looks like a complex look, but it's really not. It's mostly blending. Just a cut crease, but that's not that's not even the hard part. It's really blending the colors together. Um, but I'm choosing really complementary colors, so they do blend together very, very nicely, even though they're not all from the same palette. And that's really how I tell that it's a good shadow. If it blends well with other shadows, because you can have a bomb shadow, but if it only works with their own formula it's kind of like i have to stick to this this palette like that's kind of whack that's whack next i'm gonna go into my norvina this is my mini pro pigment palette volume one um i used this once before and i love it so i think i need to get all three of the pro pigment palettes i i need all three now yeah. thanks i don't want to pay for all three but i know they have like these sets so maybe i'll get one of the sets that also has i think like a a liner or a glitter i wasn't really paying that much attention i just saw that I had more than just the palette and was discounted so yeah so i'm gonna take my 231 this is my petite crease brush and i'm gonna pop into this pink right here and that's gonna go right in my crease you can see they look very nice together but i'm also gonna go back of course, go back over that crimson shade just so it doesn't get lost. You guys know I don't like that. I want all my colors to show. I want y'all to see that I worked hard on this because I did. Kind of. And hopefully I can make this look, <laughs> this video really short. My, I know, my boxy charm video was almost 40 minutes. I'm sorry. But if you guys stuck through to the end, like, thank you. I appreciate it <laughs> because, yeah, it was long. My bad. And my care package unboxing was also long, so sorry, y'all. And I'm just gonna go back in with my fluffy blending brush, and I'm not adding anything to it, but I am just gonna blend those two colors together. And I promise, it's really not that difficult of a look. It's just a lot of blending. You just wanna make sure everything is blended to filth. All right, next I'm gonna take my BH Day and Night palette. And I'm gonna pop into that, pur okay, if I can open it. I'm gonna pop into that purple here. I really just need to, honestly, I wish they sold these as singles, because I really, I mean, I've abused this palette, as you can see, but it's also really old, but this pink and this purple, I need that as a single, because the, they're pigmented, okay? 
um the pink does stain so just watch out for that but i'm going to this purple that's like done with my morphe e36 you guys already know this brush is for precision baby i'm just gonna go ahead and hit the outer corner with this purple and some in the crease and i'm gonna apologize if i'm like low energy like could you imagine like i'm sorry let me just i'm sorry i sound crazy because i'm still congested and i'm not having the best day so i apologize but we're gonna do this we're gonna power through it because that's what we do here that's who we is <laughs> sorry guys i'll speak english in a second okay and let me make sure that it's really blended don't worry if you're like following along don't worry if it's a little messy towards more towards like the inner corner um i am cutting the crease that's probably the, the hardest thing that i'm going to be doing literally the hardest thing is cutting the crease with this do you guys feel like daylight savings time is like draining you like i i feel like it makes me more tired I don't know why like I don't know it's like it's getting darker earlier so it's like okay let me wake up and go back to bed and it is cold now sorry guys I'm just gonna continue just to build this up just a little bit more oh, sorry but um I figured I'd go ahead and recreate this look because a lot of people ask when I popped up on IG Live, and it really did not take me that long at all. It's going to seem longer because I'm filming, um, but it really, it really did not take long to do this look at all. I literally did the look, jumped on the live, answered you guys' questions, and that was it. If you missed it, you can always go ahead and check out my live. It's on my IGTV, on Instagram. My Instagram is down below. If you're not following me, stop being weird. Go follow me. Stop playing. And yeah that was a lot of fun it was i was really surprised you know when you do things on instagram people ask you dumb shit like really stupid questions like do you have a boyfriend what's your favorite color like shut up it's blue y'all know it's blue and no nobody likes me but i got really good questions about just like my process and it was my ig live just to celebrate, I did a Q&A just to get to know you guys a little bit more so you guys can get to know me, you guys can chat with me because it was my one year anniversary of being on YouTube and Instagram since I started them on the same day, which a lot of people do not do, but <laughs> so I've heard, um, but I think it was just beneficial for me to just do them the same way. That way I can get some looks out on Instagram and promote my channel at the same time because it is hard to gain followers on Instagram. It is even harder to get subscribers on YouTube and harder for them to comment. So guys, come on, comment. It's been a whole year and you guys don't wanna to talk to me. What's up with that? Don't be with friends. Okay. <laughs> Let me stop, cause I'm done with this purple. But do you see how pigmented the purple is? It's just, it's, it's all that in a bag of chips. If you guys are old enough to even know what that means. Back in my day, you can get four bags of chips for a dollar. Y'all don't know about that. Let me stop. I think most of my audience is around my age, so that's good. So y'all do know something about that, and I I appreciate it. So now I'm going to go back into my Norvina palette. I'm going to hit the pink just a little bit. Same pink that we use. They don't have, like, names. They're like, that one, I guess, is B1. So I'm just going to go ahead and just... Blend out the crease. Cause I don't know why I pulled the right down. That was dumb. Yeah. This is the second time I'm filming this whole thing. Just so you guys know. I'm so mad. I went to go edit it today. Cause we could do this. We could talk. I went to go edit it today and the whole thing was corrupted. Like and I had started editing already. That's what's more annoying. Mm-hmm. I know. Terrible. Terrible. But you know what it's cool okay so now that that's blended i'm gonna go ahead just off camera real quick go ahead cut the crease and finish up this eye pretty much and come back and show you how i do it before i go ahead and do the lower lash line so let me go do that real quick okay so off camera all i did was go ahead and finish up this side i'm gonna show exactly what i did on this one 
So I just went and took my Ace Beauty palette. I went in with just my flat brush. You guys know this is the type of brush that I like to use for any glitters and shimmers. And I went right into this hibiscus shade right here, which is just like a shimmer version of that crimson, which is perfect. And all I did was go right over top where I cut the crease. So it does go on very nicely. I don't know how it would look um, without cutting the crease. I don't think I've ever tried it. I'm, I don't know that it would be, I don't know what the color payoff would be. I mean, I guess it would have to depend on what other shade you were using. Like it could be nice, like a good soft glam look. So, I mean, I guess I, I just have to try that in another look. <laughs> but this is all I did, we just pack it on the lid. Get it all nice up in there, get up in there, get up in there. Okay, then I went back into my Norvina palette with my 231, just took a little bit of that pink and I just went back over the crease, but only in the front, like towards your inner corner, not where the purple is. Just like that, just to make sure that the pink can be seen. And then I go back into my BH9 Day palette just to hit that purple, just to blend up. Just to blend out that outer corner, corner, just so the shimmer doesn't look too harsh. Finally, just back into my Swallow Dust palette. I didn't go back into it when it did the shimmer because I wanted to make sure the other colors were present um, before I went back into the crimson right here. And just blend it out right under the brow bone. And that's it for the lid off camera. I'm gonna go ahead do my base, which is just my foundation and my highlight, which is my concealer, my tart shade tape, you guys know. And I'll go over it with some banana powder so we can go ahead and do the lower lash line. I did lay down some banana powder, like I said, over my concealer. And I did go ahead and use my Pout Standing Lip Crayon. This is just a coral color. I don't think it has a shade name. This thing that I always use. I use the shine side in my waterline. I did just go ahead and wing out a little bit of liner up top. I did use my Trifle Cosmetics lava liner i don't know what it is it's just a felt tip liner but i love it it's really really nice it goes over smoothly over um the shimmers honestly that's where the problems usually lie with the shimmers they they usually skip but it does a great job and <laughs> that's what i use so for my waterline we're gonna use the good old bh cosmetics palette we're gonna go into that hot pink because you know i don't know why whenever i use that purple i use this hot pink i just do just 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 hot pink here that's um yeah it's done pretty they're they're done okay and i'm going to use it towards the inner corner out to the middle and then for the outer corner i'm just going to use that purple just to connect it it's a little hard to see with my um the waterline shade that i use because you you can't really tell if it's there too much but it's there it's there there you go just about there and then I'm just gonna go right into that purple which you you know when that purple is there y'all see it y'all see it um <laughs> I need a nap cuz I'm gonna be up forever trying to edit it because I'm gonna be afraid now that the files gonna be corrupted so okay so that's good for my lower lash line I don't have my color switch next to me but I wanted to add like a pop of color in my inner corner. So with the same E36, I just cleaned it off a little bit. I'm, ooh, I'm gonna go into my Neon Pink Pigment by Makeup A Murderer. And I'm just going to take whatever's on the cork. Again, you can always get the blood drip drawers just to store them. I haven't gotten them yet because I don't think they come in a set yet. I think they're like individual right now. If they have a set of those, let me know. And it'd just be a lot easier, probably a lot cheaper too. I don't wanna spend the money, that's the, that's the, let's talk about it. That's what it is. <laughs> I don't wanna spend the money, so I'll struggle. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a little bit right on the brush. I'm not, it's a raw pigment, so knocking off any excess is not gonna do anything, but now I'm like, did I lay down enough banana powder? Because I feel like the answer is no. I'm gonna mess up my base, but what are we gonna do? <laughs> I'm just gonna, literally just pop it right there i'm not going to do anything else it's just a stamp just like that and that's it i said that's it and it went back but that's pretty much it for the eyes guys i'm gonna go ahead off camera just finish up the face on my lashes you guys already know and come back and show you the final look
Okay. All right, guys. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you guys like how the look came out. I do, even though I've <laughs> done this three times now. <laughs> um, but <laughs> I still love. It. It's just one of my favorite looks. It's not as hard as it looks. It looks like a lot, but you really don't do that much work, and that's always a plus. So. As you can see, for the lashes, I did go big. I did use the Bougie Lashes by Pretty Me Beauty. You guys already know. You can always use the code INDIA15 for 15% off your order. And these are nice. Like, I was pretty intimidated by the bigger lashes, like the 25 millimeter lashes. But I'm starting to like them a lot. These were the first ones that I ever tried, the big ones. And I'm, I'm feeling it. Like, they, they change your life. I'm a new... <laughs> new bitch okay sorry let me let me behave um the contacts i have in are the opera marines by iq boutique i love them i didn't think that i was i just was like mm, let's try this one they're not as blue as the brilliant blue by um fresh eye.us but i think these are a more natural blue and they just look really really nice and make the look pop a lot so i love that on the lips you guys already know it's my nyx suede matte lip liner in aria with dose of colors and nude moon top with the iconic london lip plumping gloss that is my favorite combo of all times ever that's it period that's my favorite like i don't know why for my highlight i did go with my boomin highlight this is a loose highlighter by ColourPop. this was in the makeup shale collection from uh many many moons ago but this is this is lasting me so long you literally need the smallest amount loose highlighters are very very pigmented and you can get it can get crazy really, really fast. So just be careful with that. And that's pretty much it, guys. If you like the look, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. It definitely helps me out with the algorithm, pushes my video out there because I've seen some looks, no see no shade, but I've seen some looks that get views and they suck. I'm sorry. They're boring. I Just thumbs up, please. And... If you try this look, make sure you go ahead and tag me on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, I don't know what you're doing. So make sure you go ahead and do that. It's always going to be linked in the description box. But if you try any of the looks that I create, always hit me up. Send them to me. I love to share them, repost them. I just love to see what you guys do. And also, any looks that you guys want recreated here on this channel, make sure you go ahead and send them to me. I'll try my best to do that for you. Also, any products you like reviews, I'll do my best. And if you see any looks on my Instagram, that I did not do tutorial for, for whatever reason. If you wanna see it, make sure you go ahead and comment under that post or send it to me and I will definitely do that look for you. And that's pretty much it guys. Thank you so much for being with me. You guys have no idea. Like I went to edit tonight and I was like, I literally have it in my planner. Edit for three hours just to get most of it done. And when I go to edit for three hours, it was corrupted. So that sucked, but it happened. Um, I dropped everything just to fill, just to refill this look for you guys. So I hope you appreciate it because I do this because I appreciate you guys and you know all the support that I received. So thank you so much for that. But if you haven't already, and I don't know why, <laughs> make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Once you subscribe, hit that notification bell. Join the Clockwork Crew so you'll be notified every single time that I upload, which is every single Monday, like Clockwork. And as you can see, we do anything okay not to miss the upload <laughs> and again if you haven't already go ahead and follow me on instagram check out my IGTV where you can see the q a where i originally showed this look and you see um some questions that were asked if you guys want another ig live just go ahead and let me know i was told that you guys would like me to go live more often about once a month so i'm gonna try and do one this month so uh make sure you go ahead and look out for that on my Instagram, I definitely announced it beforehand, and I'll try to put it in my community tab as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Until next time.